visit to the Achimota bus terminal, the news team observed that weeds have started growing on portions of the concrete tiles where the buses are packed. A wire mesh erected as a fence has also been turned into drying lines by some residents and traders nearby, with dust all over the packed buses. The Ayalolo buses with the capacity of 80 passengers are equipped with GPS, cameras, television monitors and mobile charging point. This bus system was introduced to help in reducing travel time along busy corridors, but lack of designated lanes on some roads has rendered their purpose unfruitful. In a rather worrying situation, some of the buses have the windscreens broken. I've been here twice and on both occasions, I have been denied access into the yard located at the Achimota news station. Now, management of the buses has also refused to grant me any interview. But as you can see, it is a worrying development here. The buses, a good number of them have been grounded for lack of servicing, cost of management, among other reasons. In March this year, the Minister of Transport, Kweku Ofuria Siyama, said the model of running the buses in the country is not working. He cited the high cost of operations, maintenance and traffic congestions as some of the setbacks militating against their efficient operations. The local government minister, Dan Butri, declined to grant us an interview, stating that interactions and negotiations with partners on the Ayalolo bus system are far advanced. As it stands, Ghana's bus rapid transit arrangement is not working as intended. Christian Yale, TV3 News, Achimota News Station.